Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa with the Weenie Umbrella brand and here on this channel I talk to you about everything the Weenie Umbrella brand is a part of, is a part of, and the tips and tricks that I use to help me on my business slash entrepreneurial journey. On today's episode I'm going to show you about Canva, how to use the images off Canva to be accepted with high resolution on the publishing platform Ingram Spark. So if you're publishing books or if you want to use these same tips to get high resolution images off of Canva to other like shirts or anything like that, this is the video for you. And if the tips and tricks help, comment down below and let me know. So here we go. All right, so we're going to do the how to get your Canva pics to be acceptable for Ingram Spark online from a low resolution to a higher resolution. And I already started, we're gonna to go to Canva. I just picked out a random picture and we're gonna use this. And we're gonna use these people walking and we're gonna do it simple because I already made one before and it was the same. But just remember we can move these around. So example picture. And then we're gonna to go to share and from share, we're going to click download. Now on download, do not use the PDF standard, only use the PDF print because it has a high quality multi-page document. It is not enough DPI dots per inch um, for your high resolution, but it's the highest quality for Canva. So we're going to use uh, PDF print. We're going to go and we're just going to, you can select all photos and save it as a zip. I'm going to show you that if you want to, you, you know, if you get all your photos together and then you want to do them all at the same time instead of going one by one. But this one, we're just going to use two. Done on here. Download. Put it down. Let's see. We're going to save, save our picture. Example four as a PDF, remember, and then we're going to go to Google. And then from Google, we're going to click. We're going to type in convert. I know it's already out there, but just for people that need to see a type. Convert PDF to JPEG. And you can use any one of these websites right here. Convert PDF to JPEG online for free, Adobe. But mine's is, my favorite one is the, oh, I'm going to show you this because I was already working on something. The PDF to go.com because, and this is important you can change the optional settings. A lot of the other ones, you cannot change the optional settings, but on this one you can. And before you upload, you can go to your DPI here. Now this is the most important thing, dots per inch of the value of your image and put in 300. That is the high resolution minimum. So this is what you can use to make your image, you know, be acceptable for like quality t-shirts books anything if you want to use any other um photos online now we're going to take that we're going to go to example picture four it's uploading press start and we're going to process so while this is processing i'm going to show you when i said something about the zip you can if you had if i downloaded all three of those pictures I would have downloaded this zip file and it would have made all three of those pictures separate, but with the same high resolution that it needed. So my computer automatically does the save, but you should click the save here. And so we're going to save and it's going to be saved as a JPEG. You see there? So now you went from PDF print to a high resolution quality JPEG image. So we're going to save that. Now we're going to go back to Canva 
if you want to stop here, you can. This is exactly what you need to do. And you can put the picture, high resolution pic picture, JPEG picture that you just made to anything that you need to be that needed that um, acceptable high resolution picture. But this one is how we get our Canva pictures to be acceptable with Ingram Spark. You know, so now I'm going to go to upload. And we're going to upload that picture we just made. Example picture four. And let that save up. And, and we're going to put it here. And see, it's all connected. Well, I did it twice. But it's all connected. And now since it's all connected, you have one high resolution photo. Now, if you wanted to add words or text and print it off somewhere, all you have to do is go back again and download and put not the standard, but the PDF print and you it will be accepted altogether. All right. Now, I just want to make sure um, that the picture that you print as a PDF in Canva can, you know, you can change it all around. But just remember to put the 300 DPI in your, let me go back. Let me go back so I can make sure. 300 DPI, that's how you'll get your high resolution. All right, now that's it for today's episode of how to get your Canva pics to be accept acceptable for Ingram Spark or any other high resolution website, image, read, something like that with a 300 DPI from low resolution to high resolution. All right, have a great day.